Hello, welcome to another mini tutorial on algebraic geometry. In this one, we are going to learn a little bit more about um, regular functions. Namely, we are going to see that there is an isomorphism of k algebras between the k algebra of regular functions on the distinguished open subset df, or f in the coordinate ring ax. Of course, x is, uh, as always, our affine variety. And um, the coordinate ring ax localized at f. So this is uh, this, is this um, isomorphism of k algebras that we are going to prove. And um, we're going to call uh, eta this map here from Ax localized at f to um, the k algebra of uh, regular functions on df. And uh, now, of course, uh, eta is easy to define. Namely, uh, we just send uh, g fn, uh, g divided by fn, to g divided by fn. So um, at first glance, uh, it might seem that as if nothing has happened, but of course uh, this is a change in interpretation because here in Ax localized f, uh, this, is, uh, this is a way of writing an equivalence class. And over here um, we're dealing uh, with an actual uh, quotient of polynomials g and fn. Um, so uh, to check that, uh, um, Eta is um, is well defined. We need to check that uh, if we have two representatives uh, of an equivalence class over here, so uh, g uh, divided by f n is the same as uh, g bar divided by uh, f to the m. Uh, these are the same in in here in a x uh, localized at f. Then we need to check that uh, these two get mapped to the same element in here, in, in the uh, k-algebra of regular functions. Um, so, um, remember what it means for um, uh, two um, representatives, uh, uh, for two uh, elements uh, to be uh, representatives of the same equivalence class in Ax localized at f uh, means that uh, there is a k such that f to the k g fm minus g bar fn is equal to zero. This, for, this is how uh, this equivalence on, on this uh, localization uh, was defined. So this is an equation in uh, the coordinate ring Ax um, but of course, uh, this is unequal to zero, so uh, this implies that uh, g divided by fn is uh, the same as g bar divided by fn uh, in um, in the uh, in the k algebra uh, on uh, df. So, um, for uh, subjectivity, uh, there is nothing to prove uh, because um, we have already seen in a, a previous tutorial that the uh, regular functions on uh, df are given uh, by uh, quotients of this form. Um, But uh, we also need uh, to check um, that eta is injective. Um, so um, let's uh, assume that um, g divided by fn is equal to zero on, uh, on df. Then um, We must have that 
uh, g is equal to uh, zero on uh, on df because df is is defined to be the set where uh, f doesn't vanish. Um, but now uh, using the identity theorem for regular functions, we can conclude that um, fg is equal to zero on all of x. Um, but uh, this means that we can uh, write um, fg, uh, so we can, can write uh, fg in this form here, um, um, which is the form we uh, uh, um, need for our localization. So we can write f uh, times g times 1 minus 0 times fn. And uh, this is equal to 0 in ax. This is just this one here, just this result here. Um, but this means that uh, g divided by fn is um, or rep represents the same equivalence class as uh, 0 divided uh, by 1 in this uh, localization. Um, so uh, what this shows is that um, if this element uh, g f n uh, gets mapped uh, to, uh, to 0, then um, uh, it is uh, it is uh, really the zero in the localization, so that the kernel of uh, eta is zero, is zero, and uh, this shows that um, eta is injective, and yeah, that's all we need to show for this lemma. So this lemma is proved.